Hey y'all, how's everybody? Let's have a chat this morning. Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately. A lot of channels I really respect, really like. A lot of good things being said. Uh, are you watching the news at all? Uh, doesn't matter where you watch the news at, it's all pretty much the same. But um, a lot of people, we still have that feeling that something's up, something's going to happen and it's probably going to be this year. Uh, it's hard to say what, I don't know, I just, like a lot of people, I've got a feeling that, you know, something's not right, something's in the wind. Now, what we've done around here, you know, wife and I started doubling up on our supplies. I even went in the pantry in the back room of the house, and uh, when I get done with that, I'll, I'll show y'all what I've done back there. But, um, added some shelves, some more storage space in there. Uh, we're really, really stocking up on canned items, you know, non-perishable type foods, dried beans, dried rice, that kind of stuff. And we even added a new freezer to go with the one we already had. You know, I had one that went out, so we bought a smaller chest type freezer. And by the time we got the frozen vegetables and stuff that she buys that we use constantly, uh, what deer meat I had beef out of the freezer that kind of thing we filled it up quick which was okay but then i came across some more meat that i could not pass up a deal i just i just had to get it and we wasn't going to stock up on frozen meat a lot but when you know when the opportunity comes up to get it for the price we got it we went ahead and got it so we had to add another freezer uh and uh we're going to get a, a generator here pretty soon now, put a question out to you guys, to my prepper friends out there. Have any of y'all used the generator? They sell it at Sears. It runs on gasoline or propane. Uh, it shows a bunch of stars on the, the ratings thing, but I would rather hear from some of y'all if y'all have ever used one of those. Now, leaning real heavily to getting one of those. Now, we need one of those around here for hurricane season anyway. We've been real lucky the last few years we hadn't had one. But the last hurricane that came through here and hit us, we were out power for seven weeks here where I live. But um, there was gasoline available for generators not far from here, but uh, but we didn't have one. So we, what food we had then, we either cooked it or canned it, or you know, that way. But I'd rather have, you know, I'd rather have a generator. We're going to get one. I just don't know which one yet. So y'all, if you would give me some suggestions on what kind y'all use. The multi-fuel thing sounds good to me, but, but I've never never used one, so I don't know. Another thing I've seen a lot of people say, keep cash on hand. Absolutely. Uh, keep some cash on hand. But from experience, now back in 1996, we had a tornado hit, direct hit on our house. Almost killed our whole family. I lost everything we owned. And we had cash in the house. What happened, happened to it, who knows? We never saw it again. So um, what I'm going to suggest, what we're going to do, what we've already done, is we keep a little bit in our pockets, keep some in my pocket, my wife keeps some with her. Not a lot, just enough to get by. And um, we don't keep any in the house. None at all. What we did is take these, those preppers, We've got mason jars, pints, quarts, whatever you want. Take whatever cash you want. Now, when you get your cash out of the bank, don't stack it in $100 bills. All right, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Because when something happens and you know, you've got to have cash, and somebody says, well, I want $20 for that, you need a $20 bill. You don't need a $100 bill. What, you know, they're going to say, well, I don't have change. So either you're going to wind up forking over $100 or you're not going to get what you want to get. So um, what we did, we got small bills, 20s, 10s, 5s, even 1s. Put them in a mason jar, put them in a plastic bag, vacuum seal it if you want. That's what I did, vacuum seal it and put it in a Ziploc bag. Stuff it down in here. Now I've got pretty large property, I've got 7.5 acres. And I know, and 
my, my kids know. My kids are all my kids are adults. Y'all know that. They know where it is buried in the yard. That way, if something happens to the house, the house gets blown away, house burns down, whatever, that money is still out there buried in this jar. Now, yep, if you leave it there long enough, the lid's going to rush shut. Who cares? Bust the jar when you need your money. And it'd be up to you how much you put in each jar. I mean, don't put everything in one spot. What's that old saying? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And that's what I'm trying to say. But I just want to encourage everybody to please keep an eye out on what's going on. Uh, it's just with um, the Supreme Court Justice that just passed away. I'm not a conspiracy guy for the most part, but to me that stinks. It just don't smell right. But who knows? There's nothing we can do about it. But uh, but we need to pay attention. And uh, just thought I'd get that off my chest. Uh, we're going to major shop cleaning again. I've been working on that for the last few days. I've added tools and supplies and this and that and I've got to where I can't move around in here so I've had to start all over again with rearranging stuff. Even took out some of the couple of cabinets and replaced them with something a little more efficient where I can keep all my stuff straight. So I'll get back to knives probably tomorrow. I've got all the orders are out. Uh, all the smoke mullet that I made for my friends, that's all been mailed out. Uh, so I don't have anything pressing right now. But I do have some fillet knives and some fishing knives that I'm going to start working on tomorrow. And I'll try to get some pictures of those up. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please pay attention. Uh, you know what I mean. Just, just keep your heads up. Keep your eyes open. See you all next time.